Well, I did my first night shift last night. It was really good. The people are really, really nice people to work for. And it's it was a good shift. Um, I weren't going to work tonight, but um, I got a phone call or a text message. I can't even see. Look at the state of me. Would you? No, mate, no. But um, I can't really see much on here. But I'm not going to have a shower yet because I might try and get some more sleep because it's only... 20 past one mate 20 past one but this might be only a couple of minutes long but uh i feel like i need to get rid of that i'm getting on a bit but my dog one of my dogs ain't talking to me but the other one is rosie's sitting on my lap don't know if you can see keeps me warm she's a beautiful little girl but you know, we we all have to. We don't know when we're gonna go. So please, please, do what you can and have a happy life. Just just don't stand for no crap for anybody. Would you, if somebody was stood there and you watched your child or your parents get abused by someone, would you like that or would you do something about it? So if it's happening to you, get them out, get out. I was gonna get married once. Well, I got I've been married, but before I met my ex-husband and he got violent with me and I was one of the people who just walked out I grew my hair really really long it's halfway down my back and I knew it was over so I sh I'd shaved it all off I said my mouth it's over forget it but you live one life get over and live your life but yeah do you know what I mean it's it's quite I mean yesterday I, I did this shift and the night before somebody died and it was it's sad do you know what i mean so you don't know what's going to happen to you in years to come with anything it could be just anything it's just just to be happy if you're happy and you know it you do what you have to do do you know what i mean don't don't stand for nothing if people tell you that you can't i'm telling you that you flipping well can yeah you can you can do anything you want to do. Um, so this is only going to be a shorty, shorty, shorty one. You Don't talk to me tomorrow because I'm just not going to make no sense tomorrow after two night shifts on a row. Then I've got three nights off. Then I'm working Friday, Friday, Friday. So have a good day on Monday, Monday morning. La, la, la. So yeah, just look at the time, three minutes long. That'd do me for today. Anyway, you don't want me to go on because I'm just going to start talk gibberish. But do things for you. Put you first. Bye for now. I was only going to do a short video, but look who came to see me. Hey, Jay. Look, he's back. He's got the ump for some reason. Look. Hey, Jay. Look. Hey, Jay. What's the matter with you? He's a right stroppy little shitbag. Anyway, I was just watching a programme um, about children and lying to them, saying like, if they're really crap at something, do you tell them that they're good at it? No, you don't. If you've got a child and they're not very good, you tell them and say, you don't have a go at them, but life isn't about losing, it's about winning. If you don't put your work and your effort into winning, you're not going to get nowhere. My youngest son and my eldest son, I've never ever said that they're good at something. If we were, we were to go out and we were good to do something, I would never ever let them win. If they once got to win, they've got to improve in what they're doing. So if you've got children, make them fight, make them win. If they're going to run 100 metres at school, they run to win. They don't run to come second. Nobody gets to their status in life to be second they're going to be your winner you make them a winner and say to them life's about winning it's not about coming second and don't even try to come second you don't win you don't come back in my front door well they do but you know but it's about winning mate don't don't stand for seconds Go and win your race for your life. 
You go girls, you go boys, let's get this party started.